Hey, Vicky, do you know how to use connectives? Yeah, but sometimes the Wi-Fi drops out. No, not your internet connection. Connectives in sentences. Oh, no. So, what are they? Well, connectives are specific words that join two clauses together to make a sentence. OK, cool, but why do we need a whole video on connectives? Didn't we cover this already in our video on clauses and sentence structure? It must be. The cookie was delicious because it had lots of chalk chips. Good question. We know about joining clauses, but connectives can make so many different connections between clauses. You need to know a range of different connectives so you can choose the right kind of connective at the right time. I don't get it. You see, there are connectives that can help explain when something happens. For example, before, while, after, finally. Connectives can also be used to explain why something happens. For example, because, since, as. They can also be used to compare. For example, likewise, comparatively, equally. And they can be used to contrast. For example, whereas, alternatively, however. Wow, there are a lot of different connectives. How do you use them? Well, let's look at some examples. Let's complete each sentence with different when, why, compare and contrast connectives and see how they add to the meaning of the sentence. This sentence is meant to explain when something happened. So we could use a connective such as before, while or after. How about the cookies were baked while the bickies cooled. That's right, Bicky. Now try this one. This sentence is meant to explain why bickies are good snacks. So we could use the connectives because, since or as. I think a good one would be bickies are good snacks because they are bite-sized. Good. What about this one? Well, this is comparing two things. So we could use the connectives similarly, comparatively or likewise. How about cookies are crumbly? Similarly, bickies can crumble. Great work. Last one. This one's talking about difference. So we need a contrasting connective like whereas, however, or alternatively. Let's go with warm cookies are chewy whereas cool cookies are crunchy. They're also a bit of a know-it-all. What? Nothing. So when would I use this in real life? Every piece of writing has a purpose. You might need to explain when or why something happened or compare and contrast parts of sentences. Connectives can help us do this. Oh, yeah. I guess that's why they call them connectives. What? They're called connectives because they connect one part of a sentence to another. Good use of because, Bicky. Thanks.